it's me and my crazy hair. Oh my God, it is really, really crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. I'm all cozy in my robe, feels like fall today. Although it is sunny, it was rainy yesterday. This light oh, just really bothers my eyes. Hi, I don't have my brows on yet or anything really. Um, so, kind of been taking it easy today. Hi everybody, um, got the our dinner going in the crock pot and took care of some business and I just uh, uh, took a bath and starting my kind of daily routine. Um, I moisturized my face and did my eye cream and I put on my uh, primer. And I also put on my concealer. I use the, gosh, my eyes are so sensitive. Um, to, I put on my concealer, it's the Touch. Oh gosh, this light is just gonna kill me. Um, taffeta is the color and you can see where it's kind of yellow in areas. Um, I put that, um, well, it has a yellow tone. Uh, really, you should probably use an orange, but it, it works. Um, to conceal underneath my eyes and some little, I have melasma uh, right here, which is uh, dark patches. Um, and uh, I had a couple little speckles, some little uh, blemishes, if you will. Um, so I've concealed that. Uh, this is kind of a new way that I've been doing it. So I do, like I said, the moisturizer, primer, concealer. And now what I'm gonna do, which is totally new and a little bit crazy, but I watched a video about it. I gave it a try. I thought, you know what? That actually really does work. And when you think about it, it actually isn't that crazy because whenever you go and you are um, concealing like tattoos or something like that, you always take um, the corrective color first um, and then you powder it to set that so it doesn't move and then you conceal it and then you powder it again. So essentially you're doing that with your face. So I'm just gonna lock in this primer and everything like that and it's going to just make everything last a whole lot longer and just make it that much better. So I'm just using a loose translucent powder. If you want extra, my husband just joined in. Hi babe. If you want even more coverage, then um, don't use a translucent powder. You can use one in your skin tone. Um, Unique has some really good ones that are mineral based, so they're gonna be good for your skin. They're not gonna clog your pores or anything like that. So we're just gonna dust this translucent powder all over and this is before we put on our foundation and I know it sounds crazy but it does 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 work and like I said if you use one that is the um, is your skin tone that's going to give you even more coverage okay so now for my foundation I use the touch liquid foundation from unique and I'm gonna be using, this is a brush from TNT Cosmetics. It's a stippling brush. And I'm going to be showing you another cool trick that you can do with a brush like this. This is for those of us who have <laughs> uh, larger pores, which I do because I have oilier skin. Um, if you have dry skin, uh, you can still do this. Like if you wanna fill in some fine lines and wrinkles, but you really need to make sure you're nice and exfoliated and moisturized first. Otherwise, it, it could, because you're really gonna be buffing, it could flake off some skin and you don't want that. So I'm gonna apply it all over first. And even, yeah, I'm gonna put it up on my ear. I put my foundation up on my ear and down my neck and even sometimes onto my chest, depending on how much of my uh, Chess is showing. Hi, thanks for joining in and thank you for all the hearts. Appreciate it. So, um, I'm just putting it on as usual right now and then I'll show you the cool buffing technique. Uh, my favorite moisturizer. I use a moisturizing um, 
Well, I used to use a moisturizing gel. Now I use an oil control one, a mattifying one, and it's from Murad. Um, it's supposed to control oil for uh, uh, for eight hours. So that's that's what I use, especially in, in Myrtle Beach and in Branson where it's a little more humid. It's hard for me to stay very matte. Just do a little bit more. I just put it on the top of my hand and um, you can apply this with a beauty blender also or just a regular foundation brush or of course uh, I've showed you before um, you can apply it with your hands which I feel is a good ugh, a good way I'm gonna get my neck and then I'll move on to the buffing Hello in Florida. I love Florida. It's gonna take oh, not that far down. <laughs> it's not that kind of periscope. Oh, thank you. Okay. Man, I probably should have fixed my hair before I got on here to chat with you guys, but oh well. I like doing my makeup, but I just don't really like fixing my hair, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put a little more on. And right here, I don't know if you can really see, but I have some, I use the color satin. Um, I have some larger pores right here, and so I'm just going to take some more foundation, put it right here on this area and I'm just gonna buff it down in. Moisturizer is designed to soak down into your pores, your skin absorbs it, but makeup sort of lays on, oh, thank you, Jess. Makeup sort of lays on top of your skin, and so this helps to, just to push down in there. This is my main, you know, problem area right there so I'm just gonna it's just pushing it down in there and stiffening it just making it go down in inside the pores so that they're less visible I don't know sometimes you'll notice if you put on your foundation you're like wow there's pores that just showed up and I didn't even realize that they were there or that they were that big just fill them up I have little marks on my nose for my glasses so yeah you're just gonna circle inwards and outwards and just like just really buff it in there feels nice and I just like to push and I'm gonna do the same thing when I do my highlight and uh, when I do my powder I'm gonna press it in there also and it just really it can give you that um, nice airbrush look without using an airbrush Okay, so all that's done. Um, a lot of times, you know, just when I'm doing my daily stuff, this is all I'll do. Uh, I seal it with the powder from here. Do some bronzer, you know, my mascara, of course, my eyebrows. Um, but I'm going to be doing another show tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and, and highlight. I don't just do this for shows. Um, I, I like a, a doing a highlight most of the time, but if it's just, you know, your day-to-day -day stuff then um, I don't I don't bother with it sometimes you guys are the only reason I put on makeup because <laughs> I need I, I'm like I need to get on and do my periscope so I need to put on some makeup okay so I've got my oh sorry I didn't mean to flip you guys off I wasn't <laughs> trying to do that um this is the color velour and it's the same um as the concealer that I did. This is the Touch uh, Skin Perfecting Concealer from Unique. I used Taffeta to conceal and now I'm using Velour to highlight. So we're going to do down the nose. I like to shrink my nose a little. So we're just going to pat that in. You of course could use a beauty blender or a brush. I'm using my fingers because at the moment that's my favorite way to do this, but it changes 
just kind of depends on, on my mood. I really change up my routine quite often, but this has been, now I'm going to highlight my chin and I'm just using what's extra. And if you ever get too much product and you're like, oh no, don't just keep trying to buff it in. Um, take a, a little wedge, the little spongy wedge things and, uh, and dab it in, it'll soak up that powder. And also another little tidbit, if you use a beauty blender, make sure it's wet, otherwise it's gonna soak up your product and you're just gonna waste so much makeup. And you're also, you need to disinfect those puppies. Never use your beauty blender on another person's skin, ever. It's disgusting. <laughs> Um, and even when it's for yourself, you need to make sure you're disinfecting it and, and cleaning it. Otherwise, for you know, those of us who get breakouts and things like that, you'll get that bacteria lodged in there and just keep spreading it around your face and nobody likes that, hmm? Okay. Keep turning it. Oh, let there be light. Okay. Um, you can use a antibacterial soap. They also make uh, special cleansers for things. I have sprays that I use for my brushes. I sprayed on my brushes and but and I used to use a beauty blender all the time and I did notice that I was um, breaking out at the time. I wasn't really using, I wasn't cleansing it like I should. Um, so that could be why. I'm not against them. I do think they do a beautiful application. I just don't uh, currently use a beauty blender or a blending bud. It's just a personal preference and I definitely don't use them on other people. Or we're just good to use to apply. Um, perhaps, I just, uh, maybe. I'm not gonna say no, but I just use them to clean, clean things up. And they're also good um, if you're doing mascara on your, let me see if I can find one here. If you're doing mascara on your bottom lash line and you're notorious for messing it up, and I do this when I'm doing someone else's makeup, you can put the wedge right here and then you run the uh, spoolie right there. And then it gets the excess there and not under your eye. But yeah, if you wanna soak up any extra that you have on, just dab it off like that. These are always really handy to have and they're super cheap as well. I have so many packages of them. Okay, so now, oh, you're welcome. Now I'm going to press that in to my highlighted area. This you can use, I don't have one handy. I gave it to a client. Um, you know, it's a little, a powder, like a powder puff, not a fuzzy one, but just a regular one. Um, you can press it in with that. You can also use a, a blending bud or beauty blender. Um, for this as well. You can use those to apply powder if it's dry. But I'm gonna use this little guy. This is from TNT. I'm not sure if any other company makes a brush like this. And you can't buy these online. You have to call and then you'll email them. And it's a little complicated, but um, this brush is really good. And I also use a blending brush from them for my eyeshadow. And it's amazing. That's I went to TNT agency for my um, makeup artist certification. So I use a lot of their brushes. So now I'm just gonna press, I'm gonna press that in. Cause I want this powder to fill in my big old pores. And I wanna seal in this highlight. What's she doing, Cookie? <laughs> oh, here she comes. Crazy Cookie. Cookie. What's it doing, Cookie? Oh my gosh, the sun just moved and it's beaming in on me. And it's roasting me. Okay, you see? I don't know if you could see earlier. I could definitely see. There are pores there for sure. And it has filled them in. And I just have this beautiful airbrushed canvas now. The sun, right? Well, I don't love the sun at the moment because this robe is hot. <laughs> I'm being microwaved over here. Okay. 
I watched, I caught up on the show Nashville this morning. I love that show. Oh yeah, I need to do that. Does anybody watch that show? I love it. Did that and I, my costumes, oh, thank you. Yeah, apparently someone didn't like that finale costume. Oh, <laughs> Legends has used that finale costume for so many years. So I just think it's really funny that somebody got offended by it. It's a family show. There's more that show more shows when I wear a bikini. Are you kidding me? It's so crazy. I want tights and like all sorts of layers and stuff. Oh well. You're right. Hate is gonna hate. Okay, so I pressed that in and now I'm just gonna go through and loosely do it. Now if you have dry skin, you can skip all of this. You can push the, the powder in, maybe on just the oily spots. But if you're a dry gal, then you don't want this because it's going to dry you out even more. And um, make any like fine lines or whatnot that you have kind of look crispier. And you don't want that. Okay, so aside from my ratchety, my ratchety ass hair, my face is looking all smooth and this is even before uh the i'm gonna <laughs> i almost just died oh cookie so i look a bit ghostly right now there's a lot of light coming in but it's pretty flawless coverage as you can see i still need to do my eyebrows and my contour and whatnot but that is my updated foundation routine um so what i use personally um I, I you need to use a moisturizer and a primer i have that foundation on my lip um sure yeah i can do a brow one soon um and then i apply after my primer i apply a concealer to hide any blemishes or any melasma as you can see you can't see anything on my lip at all um then after that i powder it and i set that concealer that i just used and just and it sets the primer as well then i apply my foundation um you can apply it however you choose if you have larger pores you can really buff it into those areas making it extremely flawless when you're finished with that if you would like to do a highlight apply your highlight then and then seal it all um I like to do a powder bron a powder um, contour. If you were to do a cream contour or something like that, you would want to do your highlight, your contour, blend that, and then set it. So once you're finished doing whatever it is with creams and liquids on your face, you're going to want to seal that um, with your loose powder, and then you are good to go. If you have dry skin, um, try not to use so much powder because it's just going to dry you out further and uh, make any fine lines or wrinkles show up more. Okay. So thank you for watching. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a great weekend. And uh, I will be doing an updated brow routine soon. I do have one on here. Uh, well, not on Periscope. It's already gone, but it's on my YouTube channel and it's using a pencil and then cleaning it up with uh, concealer. The only difference that I do now is that I also use um, the Unique Brow Gel after the pencil. So um, if you go to my YouTube channel, it's just under Steffi Z, the letter Z with a period at the end of it. Uh, you'll find it on there. All right. You guys have a good weekend. Bye.